Brother Hoons and their dog, Miku, celebrating the Chinese New Year outdoors at Chase Center, the home of the Golden State Warriors, feels a little different. Because of the pandemic, they won't be getting together indoors with extended family or even having a home-cooked Lunar New Year dinner. A lot of people are not eating out as much, and it just it hurts a lot of the local restaurants. Like We try to like do takeout from local um, Chinese mom-and-pop restaurants just to help out, but we definitely seen like the price increase because the cost of goods increase. So it, it's definitely putting a hamper on things. The wave of pandemic-related anti-Asian sentiment also hit restaurants hard, especially in Chinatowns across the country. This year, San Francisco's Chinatown was able to hold their traditional flower market fair, which was canceled last year. Sandra She runs Dandy, a snack manufacturer, food wholesaler, and importer. She's excited about the turnout, but says supply chain costs are taking their toll. Well, the shipping fee is no cheap, 10 ton, you know, before, before the normal way is uh, 1,500 to 1,800 per cantina. But right now it's uh, go up to the highest, is almost 20,000 for each cantina. So it's very hard for us. Despite the economic doldrums and the COVID pandemic, thousands of people have come to Lunar New Year events like this one to show their support for Chinatown. For some, it's also about not forgetting where they came from. No longer a Chinatown resident, Rosa Trong grew up here. This Chinese New Year, she made sure to bring her family for a visit. That's why I took my family out because um, we haven't been back in a long time, especially because of COVID. And then we know that a lot of small businesses are hurting, so we want to come and kind of support. You know, get some food, go check out what's going on, bring the kids out to Chinatown because they don't actually live in the neighborhood, so I want to bring them out to see where I grew up. During her high school years, Rosa worked as a volunteer to clean up Chinatown's alleys, the places where she played as a child. This is the first time her children had the chance to see where she used to live, here on the second floor. We just throw a bag down from the window, and then my mom just put the grocery store, uh, groceries in there, and then we just pull it up while we're still in the window. <laughs> Biggest celebration is uh, not only to hang out with my family, but to come back to the community that I grew up in. A sense of community eager to help Chinatown come roaring back in the year of the tiger. Now we take a look at the cost of Chinese New Year in Beijing with reporter Michelle Vandenberg. I'm at one of the most popular fresh produce markets among foreigners in Beijing. And I've invited some of my friends to join me shopping for our Chinese New Year celebration meal. We're going to make dumplings. So let's go and check out the prices. good steamed one okay. and I think that we're gonna get this one okay. we can we can steam that one okay. um, and it's pretty good it's it's cheap it's like 35 kwai um, okay. a gin so, so that's about five well, five dollars right? yes $5. sure about five dollars per pound this is pretty good for fresh fish yeah it's, it's yeah. very good okay, I would say has the price for fish changed recently no change prices are the same how much they were before they are still the same now. After buying an almost two pound fish for less than 10 bucks, we continue to shop for veggies. We need broccoli, lettuce, tomato for a salad, and the fennel to make fillings for the dumplings we're making. We also bought tofu and fruits and asked vendors about recent price changes. Prices are stable, even though it's holiday. Fruits are selling really fast, supply is very stable. There is no change in price. Tofu prices didn't change much. The prices are fixed. We also talked to shoppers, and some mentioned a drop in rent in Beijing. Even house prices have been static or even actually dropped recently, so rental prices in, in Beijing are not high. They dropped quite significantly uh, last winter. Um, I don't think, they've, they've, I don't think they've, they've gone past what they were even before that, the pre-COVID. And that makes a big difference because if, if my rent is now low, then it means my costs, the costs are lower. After spending less than 20 bucks on our main ingredients for our dinner for eight, we took a taxi home. Well, you know, I would say that prices are 
have been pretty consistent over the past few years, actually. Um, because, like, in local areas, you don't really notice it. Mm. Prices, prices here in China, I would say, have been relatively the same over the past few years.